What's up, ladies? It's Sunday. Thought of the day today um, is Plan B is ruining your life. Invincible. It's hindering you from getting to your goals. It's keeping you from losing the weight that you want to lose. And it's absolutely just ruining <laughs> everything that you want to accomplish. And I'm going to explain. If you always have a plan B, if you're always thinking about an exit, um, you have to get rid of the exit signs in your life. All right, you want to focus on a goal, you want to accomplish something, but you're always thinking instead about what happens if it doesn't work out. What am I going to do if, you know, I can't lose the weight? What am I going to do if I fail? And you're so focused on the exit sign of how you're going to get out and how you're going to, um, you know, cope with the failure that you don't focus on how to actually win and how to actually accomplish the goal. A lot of you guys, and like me, you guys know I've lost 65 pounds myself and I used to do the same exact thing. So, you know, this isn't me talking to you. This is me talking through my experience is I used to keep, you know, stuff around like those jeans, right? Like the pair of size 14 jeans that I had and size, um, you know, 12 jeans that I had because I was like, well, you know, if it doesn't work out, then I'll always have these jeans and these clothes that I'll be able to get back into if it just doesn't, you know, if I just don't keep consistent and there's always a plan B, right? I need, I'm going to tell you guys right now, you need to go burn that crap. You need to go burn those jeans that are sitting in your closet that you keep telling yourself, if it doesn't work out and my fitness journey, my health journey doesn't work out, then, you know, I've always got, you know, those clothes left in my closet. Go burn them right now. I'm dead serious. Like, go burn them. And stop making a plan B. Stop allowing yourself an exit or else you're never going to focus on what you need to focus on to accomplish your goal because you're always in the back of your mind going to have a way out. There's going to be an easy way right? Because a lot of us get focused on the price that we're going to have to pay, the sacrifices that we're going to have to make, and we're trying to allow ourselves to take the easy road. And it's never going to be easy. It's never going to be magic. It's never going to be simple. It's going to be hard freaking work. But as long as you allow yourself in the back of your mind to always have an escape, you're never going to do it. So go burn those size 14s, <laughs> get rid of them, take them to Goodwill, whatever you need to do, and stop allowing yourself to have an exit plan. All right, and if you do this, you're gonna fully commit because there's gonna be no other option, and that's what you want, right? You want to put your back up against the wall. You want to say, "I'm getting rid of all of these extra large clothes. I'm getting rid of all this stuff because I don't ever want to be back there." And once you do that, all you have to do is look forward and focus on going forward instead of about instead of worrying about going back, right? Instead of worrying about taking a step back and going backwards because you only move forwards. And uh, I think once I did that, once I got rid of uh, my plan B, once I got rid of all those exit signs in my life and started realizing what I was doing to myself by always having an escape route, um, that's what caused me to fail. Instead of you know focusing on the failure, focus on how you can win. Focus on um, the things that are going to get you to your goal instead of away from your goal. Focus on making the right choices every day instead of being scared of making the wrong choices every day. And if you do this, if you get rid of those exit signs, if you get rid of those plan Bs, I promise you, you're going to get there. And uh, I love you guys. I hope you have a great week. Uh, focus, focus, focus on your goal. Write it down every day. Say it to yourself. Put it on your bathroom mirror and dry erase marker or even lipstick. Like, I don't care. Just write it down and focus on that. Get rid of the plan Bs. Get rid of the exit signs. You guys can do this. I love you, ladies. Have an amazing week, and I'll see you next time.